Interior Zeke's bedroom day. The screen is black and we hear Zeke's voiceover. You know how high schoolers always put on those prom videos? The ones where the guys and the girls are getting ready and they're at the and they're at the beach or something? And everyone's so happy? One of these videos suddenly appears. And you think that's gonna happen to you? Zeke sits on his bed, laptop open, watching one of these videos. And then it doesn't. Zeke shuts his laptop, distressed. I got a letter from my school today saying I could go to prom. Work my ass off trying to get my grades up. Hope it was worth it. He thinks back on his relationship with Maya as images flash on the screen. I used to think Maya was the only thing that mattered. But the colors flying out of her were my world. Mm -hmm. I guess they changed my world. He gets up and crosses the mm -hmm. Exterior suburban street, day. Zeke walks down the street alone. <coughs> Colors have, yeah. Colors have always meant something to me. Colored objects around them stand out. <coughs> a few years ago, I wrote a script all about color. Seven pages. Took me about two months. We cut to his face. I guess that dream died too. Beat. Life is weird, you know? Unexpected. Abrupt. He looks into the street. I just never realized it. In the distance, we hear the echo of his sister. Zeke, Zeke, Zeke? Yeah, sure. Uh, phones, please. Do not disturb. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, interior Zeke's bedroom, <coughs> evening. We cut to Zeke's room, him sleeping in a bed, and his sister awakening him. Zeke. Zeke sleepily sits up and blinks. What? Your alarm's been going off for, like, 20 minutes. He sits up and holds his head as he sighs and groans. The alarm still goes off in the background, but he grabs his phone to turn it off. You okay? Yeah. He blinks a few more times. Thanks for getting me up. Probably okay. Be. Okay, bye. She walks out of the room. Zeke's still sitting there, confused and sleepy. Title secrets. Interior, Maya's bathroom, day. Maya's in her bathroom, putting on her makeup. Interior, Maya's living room, day. Her doorbell rings, and she goes to the door. Zoe stands there, and she greets her with a warm hug. Oh my god, dude! I know! I'm so excited. Me too, Maya, me too. She gives Maya a warm smile, and they both go to the bathroom to do her makeup. Interior, Maya's bathroom, day. Maya and Zoe stand in front of the bathroom mirror, applying makeup. So, you gonna tell Kirsten anything tonight? I don't know what you expect to happen, Maya. I don't know, but maybe something fun. He's going down to Stanford in the fall. Exactly. He's leaving. Uh, hold on for a second. Now that doesn't make sense because Stanford's up. So, I uh, just cut it down. Just going to Stanford. Yeah. Oh, it's it's fuck. Now that whole sequence doesn't make any sense. He's leaving, but not very far. <laughs> uh, 20 minutes. Oh, man. How far is Stanford? Around a half hour. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Did we ever make it super clear where we're at, though? What do you mean? Yeah, let me yeah, know. So well, she's a junior. Dollar. Yeah. Who? So she's staying. What? Well, oh, that's wait, right. What? No, but no one. Everybody just seen But we never made it. Seniors. Yeah. When? But I think it said it's basically yeah, a day of the day. My bad. Well, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're like all you know, Yeah. Wait. Wait. It's like the senior prom. Yeah, this is senior prom. Oh, and then... Maybe I... No, it doesn't but, it's not mentioned that. Uh, maybe I'm taking your resume date. I know. The only problem is if we were to make this USC, we just have to reshoot that walking scene. When you say... Like, you guys are like, really the, the one in the trailer, yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm wearing the exact same clothes so we can shoot later. <laughs> it's too dark. I oh, I'm just, just kidding. About that. Don't shoot it now. We can shoot it now. Yeah, it was, it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Or we just changed this. Wait, so he's going to Stanford? Where did you change that? Because he was going to Stanford in episode three. Continuity. <laughs> um. When Diana finally catches on. <laughs> I, I'm trying my best. Oh. It was convenient. Wait, why did the 
why were they talking they about? Oh, that's right, because he has a hockey scholarship, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm so proud of you. So, uh, Thanks. where was that? Wait, so hey, if you go to the Stanford, you'd be throwing a party too. With flock sausage, not be Yeah. Right. So Stanford is up. <coughs> Stanford is up, but that doesn't make it much sense either because San Jose and Palo Alto, nobody thinks. But he's still going to college. Like it's still he's still leaving. Yeah, college. I just say he's going to Stanford. Just like take away the down. I think it should be that. Like but no like, one's gonna be like, oh, but it's not It's not that far. far. West. <laughs> That's too long. Like, you know, it's too long to think that. Cause, like, we'll, All right, so we'll just say he's going to Stanford in the fall, and then we'll just leave it like that. Sounds good. We'll leave it like that. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, go from... I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Go from, uh, go from 27. I don't know, but maybe something fun. He's going to Stanford in the fall. Exactly. He's leaving. Why take the risk? But he's leaving. So the risk is only temporary. And you might as well see if you can get some fun months out of him. <laughs> My god, you might be the horniest person I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't entirely say you're wrong with that one. Told you. I love you, Zoe. I love you too. And hey, no tears until prom, right? <laughs> That sounds fair. <laughs> so... Yeah? You worried about seeing Zeke at all? Yeah, a little, I guess. Yeah. I kind of miss him, Zoe. I know. I love him. I know that too. But I kind of just want to forget about him. For now, at least. Gotcha. I just don't want him ruining my last hurrah. This means a lot to me. Zoe thinks that she tries to formulate words. Do you think he'll go? Maya stops doing makeup as she thinks. Maybe. She comes to a realization. Whoa. I haven't even talked in since we, since we broke up. Zoe's slightly confused. Um, duh. <laughs> no, it's just, I'm used to knowing everything about him. It's weird now. Ah, uh, very long beat as they continue to think it. You want to get back together with him, don't you? I really don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So he looks at her in the mirror. You know, whatever you decide, I'll support you 100%. Think so. Tonight's going to be amazing. Oh my god, this is the last high school thing we're gonna do. Wow, you're right. I'm glad I'm doing it with you though. You're such an amazing friend, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> Interior Zeke's bedroom evening. Zeke sits at his desk looking at his door over which looks like Sue at home. The doorbell rings and he jumps up. <coughs> Interior Zeke's foyer evening. Zeke opens the door to see Kirsten standing there dressed for the prom. Hey man. Hey Zeke. Kirsten steps inside. I don't have a lot of time. I have to pick up Zoe in ten. Okay. What's up? Kirsten pauses. Do you still love her, Zeke? Zeke looks in the in the eye. I do. You gotta fight for her. You have to fight for her. You think it'll work? I really do. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Kirsten gives a firm smile and turns to leave. And Kirsten? He comes back. You better make beautiful babies, Zoe. Really. <laughs> oh, fuck off, man. <laughs> they both laugh as Kirsten gently, punch gently punches Zeke in the head. Thank you for so much. And thank you for being kick ass. Always, man. They release. Always. Kirsten turns to leave and Zeke closes the door behind him. Zeke smiles as he turns to go back to his room. Exterior Maya's house evening. Kirsten, dressed in a tuxedo, rings the doorbell and a few seconds later Zoe and Maya emerge in beautiful long dresses. Holy freaking damn. Good censoring. <laughs> Thank you, but wow, you guys look amazing. Thank you. So you, you said you had a surprise for us? 
Oh, oh yes I do. He walks them out to the front of the house and sends a text. Moments later, a stretch limo pulls up in front of the driveway. Maya and Zoe look at each other in awe. No way. Yes, right. Ladies, can you join me? Maya and Zoe laugh, and Kirsten walks the two down. A chauffeur opens the door and nods for them to enter. Miss Pox, Miss Edwards. Well, thank you, Mr. Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> My god, you guys are such geeks. <laughs> Man, why did you have to go and ruin it? Maya laughs and gets in the limo. Kirsten and Zoe smile at each other before they get in. Interior limousine evening. The interior of the limousine is beautiful, and Kirsten, Zoe, and Maya eagerly sit inside. So are we going straight there? Now we're going to pick up a few people, get a party going. Promise doesn't start for another hour. Cool. But dude, how much did this thing cost you? Uh, more than a little and less than that. Kirsten Sullivan, quoting cheesy TV shows since 2017. <laughs> The three laugh and Kirsten pulls a flask out of his coat pocket. You guys down? Eh. You just like, mm. My hands are looking at each other. Eh. YOLO. She takes the flask and takes a swig. She coughs. <coughs> Good stuff. Kirsten laughs as he takes it back. Zoe looks up. She laughs excitedly. Guys. She nods toward the ceiling. They look up to see a sunroof. They open the sunroof and stick their heads out as suburbia passes by. They laugh and smile as the wind rushes through their hair. Maya's face comes into view as she's lost in thought. Interior school hallway day. It's nearly four years ago and Zeke is standing outside a classroom with an open door on which is, on which is a sign saying camera club and Tuesdays are open. In Zeke's hand is a flyer with similar information. Maya comes around a corner holding the same flyer. She looks down and nearly bumps into Zeke. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. He looks at her flyer. Oh, camera club? Yeah, I'm, you know, doing the freshman thing, joining clubs. She nervously chuckles, as does Zeke. He sticks out his hand. Uh, um, I'm Zeke, by the way. I'm Maya. I'm Maya. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maya. Nice to meet you. Zeke tries to smile. So, you wanna go in? Yeah, sure. Zeke motions for her to go in. He gives a strange look on his face, but it changes to awkward confidence. <coughs> Would it be weird? If Wow. Okay, you have our attention, man. Story change. Gotta love these ones that come to me. What if Zeke? And Matt. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Zeke. <laughs> oh, I took the person I liked. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Zeke and Rick were friends. Wait. Oh. Wait. I thought you meant like have sex. There we go. I was like, Diana. Well, okay. Well, maybe you should do it. <laughs> I mean, if you're like, down. What if Zeke, the pilot, was like, I've been waiting for this since the sixth grade? True. So hasn't yeah. he hated him since then? <laughs> I hate that. I hate when like TV shows like, oh, now we're friends and everything's fine. Like, no. Everything sucks. <laughs> like even through etiquette, I hate when everyone just like forgets everything. Sorry. Excuse me if you wanted to give him one more. So one. wait, so what yeah, were you gonna say? So what question. happens if, if Matt and him are together? <coughs> Rick and him are together? It would, it would, be, what you're it would be fun if we were friends and then he liked her. And I asked her. Wait, wait, that's the oh! <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> and now she's dancing with so, the prom. Never oh, mind then. I do like that though. Swoop. I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I but so that's not okay, 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 okay. Let's, uh, let's move on then. Wait, wait, wait. Can, can, can I ask a question? Later. Okay. Because it doesn't have to do with something now, I'm guessing. It has to do with this scene. <laughs> this current scene? This current scene? Current scene? Current scene? Yeah. For, like, since it's four yeah. years ago. Yeah, if you want me to get my braces off and then we shoot the scenes that uh, every other scene besides this, and then me for you guys have braces off because it doesn't make sense for me. Well, to have you braces have braces for four, for four, four Yeah. That it's not sense. stupidly implausible to have braces 
Four Some years. people have it for a long time. No, look at, no, no, take, look at how take. straight his teeth are when he's a freshman. <laughs> he's ready to get them off. Why would he have it off for no four years one. when he's that straight? No yeah, one. Yeah, no one's gonna notice yeah, that. that. No one. True. All no, you have to do is not to cut teeth. close to his face. Yeah. I think it would be more. I just feel yeah. like if I like we went to back to flashback and like he still has braces and it's yeah. like supposed to be four years ago, I would be like, he must have been really fucked up teeth, you know? And he obviously doesn't. He's ready to yeah, be off. Yeah, but but that's not something that I'm very concerned about. No, no, I, I was just wondering because you obviously want to make it look like we're different, like seeing different since it's four years. Oh ago. yeah. And yeah. we're not gonna Full look. Looking and have to hire very good makeup artists. Yeah, because we're not gonna look young. <laughs> Yeah, then there we are. So I just thought that would be. If you look younger, special. you look like twelve. So. Well, that's when that's four years ago. Act three, shall we? Are you sixteen? Fifteen. Can we get yeah. out? I'm seventeen in the series. I would. Be. I know. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. Next, Next year, year, high thing. school gymnasium. Cool. The exact same with this. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> I wrote it. Don't Is hate really? me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> The exact same look is on Zeke's face four years later, now dressed in a tuxedo, surrounded by several other students waiting in line. Many have dates, but Zeke is alone. The line moves slowly. Dance music is heard playing in the background while the school itself is covered with formal looks. <clears throat> a limo sits in the background of the crowd, and photographers brightly snap pictures of the crowd. In his hands, Zeke holds a ticket and a red rose. He reaches the front of the line where a ticket collector tears off a portion of his ticket. Zeke steps into the gym. As he does so, Zoe, Maya, Kirsten, and a few other friends of theirs arrive in their flashy limo. <coughs> Photographers flock as they step out of the limo and smile. They also go to wait in the line. That was amazing, Kirsten. <coughs> Honestly, it was amazing for me as well. That's just like my I'm really glad you enjoyed it. The two give each other a smile. Kirsten turns to Zoe. You good? Yeah, that was really cool. She smiles, but it quickly fades. The group walks up to the gates, and the greeters let them enter. Hold up. Um, so that would be my smile fades. Yeah. So not um, mm. Zoe's, for the record. <coughs> so fades in uh, that line in between 114 and 115. So in the line, <coughs> yeah, the two give each other a smile. Where Maya's fades. That's what? The two give each other a smile. smile. Kirsten and Zoe, right? Is, the, is Kirsten and Maya. For the top one. The two give each other a smile. Or yeah. Is Kirsten yeah. and Maya. Yeah, so that's Maya and Kirsten. So oh, okay. The okay. two is referring to Kirsten and Maya, and then Maya smile turns. So it's she's Kirsten like, turns to Zoe. Okay. She down here is Zoe, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Interior high school. Not too done. Interior high school gymnasium night. The gym is filled with incredible decorations all about Hollywood. The <coughs> carpet leads into the gym, palm trees are on the side, on the sides, and a large Hollywood sign is next to them. A drinks table sits off to one side, and on a small stage stands Jason DJing, large speakers, and other classic party like supplies. Maya, Zoe, and Kirsten's group enters and get additional photos snapped of them as they walk the red carpet. Zoe and Kirsten pose together, and Maya and others pose as a group. They enter the prom and head over to the drinks table where various drinks are arranged in a fancy fashion. They each take a cup and start drinking. Over on the furthest side away from them sits Zeke on a wall, looking at pictures of him and Maya on his phone. His rose rests next to him. A group of students laughing together walks by him. It's surprisingly simple to oh, that. It's surprisingly simple to ill alienate an entire friend group. Just gotta fuck everyone over. Jason starts the prom and asks if everyone's ready to get the party started. More upbeat music starts playing. People start dancing. After a time lapse, Zeke is by the order table pool, the night on that, and takes some food. As he turns, he sees Maya in the middle of the dance floor dancing with another guy. Zeke now looks confident, albeit concerned. Okay, Zeke. Now or never. He puts his food down on a table and tries to make his way over to her. He successfully makes it past a few groups, but as he tries to get past another group, a drink is spilled on his shirt. He tries to make his way back to the food table to get a napkin, and as he does, the lights turn up. <coughs> Alright, seniors! The moment you've all been waiting for is here. Now it's time for senior prom queen and king. 
Ow! Your nominees for Kate are Rick Nespo, Eric White, Jeffrey Nova, Aaron Anderson, and and for the first time in prom history, a write down candidate has received votes, and that candidate is Zeke Griffiths. Zeke is shocked to hear his name, and he goes up to the stage. Multiple people staring at him. At stage, stage, comma, space, multiple people. Sorry. <laughs> and he goes up to the stage, multiple people staring at him as he does so. That needs to be another sentence. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <coughs> On stage, Zeke stands to a few other candidates, including Rick. As the light catches his eye, he sees Maya and the crowd also looking at him. Nominees for prom queen are Aubrey Navarra, May, oh, Amanda May, Rhea Kishnar, and Jessica Whitman. A drum roll sound effect, please. Your 2017 prom queen is Jessica Whitman! Many in the crowd cheer as Jessica comes and Jason puts the tiara on her. And of course, give it up for your 2017 prom king. The drum roll plays again. He pulls the name out of an envelope. Rick Nespo! A similar amount of cheers follows Jason's announcement. Uh, Rick is crowned king. Jessica and Rick smile at each other. Rick takes the mic. Hello, 2017! I just want to sincerely say thank you for this amazing year. Being your class president has been fantastic. To the future! Well said, Rick. Well said. <laughs> Alright, Jason. Congratulations to you all. We've got lots more songs for you tonight, so let's get them going. Before the Jason. Oh, sorry, there used to be DJ. Before the Jason. <laughs> Before the Jason. I, I knew that I was going to get one of those Plot twist. He's a robot. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> That's what you're going to do. I wonder if he's well. Who else would be friends with <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sure. What? Please carry on. Please carry on. So, oh, so I guess I did it Oh, yeah, I probably forgot. Um, <laughs> Did I have to be Before Jason sorry. starts playing <laughs> Before Jason starts playing the song, Zeke runs over to him and inaudibly asks him if he can say something. Jason? I'm sorry. The DJ. <laughs> you used to be a DJ. <laughs> I'm like, I need Jason to be in this, so... Jason looks confused and agrees. Just, uh, uh, one more announcement, though. All eyes are on Zeke as he takes the microphone and starts to talk. Hey. I'm Zeke, if you don't already know me. He shifts his weight. First off, this prom is incredible. Look around. This is amazing. And I have to say... He looks at mine. Let's give Rick and all the senior officers a huge hand for playing this night. Rick catches Zeke's eye, now giving him a humble nod. Cheers fill a crowd and die down after a few seconds. And secondly... He looks at mine and bites his lip. I recently made a mistake. A huge mistake. Students look around, confused. I ruined something. The best thing in my life. The best thing that's ever happened to me. He looks at Maya, who is now in the other tears. Maya. She starts to cry as many looks at her. You were the best thing that's ever happened to me. The best thing. He starts to get teary. The day I met you was the happiest day of my life. So he hugs Maya, now in a cocoon of emotions. And I know I ruined that. I really do. But I really, really need to let you know that I would do anything. He holds back tears. Anything. To prove how much you mean to me. I don't think I can love someone as much as I love you. She moves closer to the stage. Maya, can you forgive me? The room is dead silent. Maya, still crying, takes several seconds to answer. Yes. Yes, I can, Zeke. He breaks into tears and hops off the stage as he embraces her. Again, the crowd cheers. Jason puts on a slow song and the rest of the students start to dance. Maya and Zeke just stand there, holding each other. I love you, Maya. I love you to the moon back. I love you too, Zeke. And I know I haven't told you this before, but I'll tell you right now. He pauses. 
When you talk, the world just the words just flow out of you. I like to think that when you talk, colors fly out of you. That that's <clears throat> what makes the trees green and the sky blue. And when you're happy, you make everyone else happy. Mine starts to cry again. You make the world beautiful. Short week. Just like you. Immediately she kisses him, and we see the amazing passion between them as they start to dance. Next to them, Zoe and Kirsten dance together as well, happier than they've ever been. The music continues as they all dance, embracing each other, lost in the music and the love. Exterior beach day. The black and white morning sunrise illuminates the face of Zeke, Maya, Kirsten, and Zoe, still dressed in their prom attire as they run down the sand, barefoot, and in slow motion. They stop before the water. No sound is heard of them or the ocean. Zeke and Maya look at each other, and Kirsten and Zoe look at each other. Synesthesia. That's, That's what it's called. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was we have to start all over again. <laughs> It was so ruining all! Open to the end. You're passionate. <laughs> they kiss immediately, and as they step away, colors begin to spread throughout the black and white screen, filling it with color. The two smile, laugh, and look out at the beautiful water. A tube shot of Zeke and Maya fills the screen. In the background, a man stands between them. Zeke turns and sees the man. His face goes from extreme happiness to surprise. Maya also looks in the man's direction, and when she sees him, Zeke and Maya look at each other, both shot. End credits. Excuse me, Penelope. So who's the guy? Yeah, who's the guy? Hey, My dad. dad! Don't say anything. That's the theory. Me dad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what man. if it's like your long lost step path? Step half brother. Cousin. He actually. That would just end up being my brother. He has a brother Step in half. the war, remember? So yeah. It could be him. But it is. Maybe it's a doppelganger. Well, it depends on how old he is. <laughs>